everybody. As you can see with the multiple boxes, today is a big day full of swag. Uh, the good thing is I've got the rest of what I need for building the Gibson EH-185 in this guy. And we've got a couple of the boxes that we're going to show you as well. So hopefully you get to see a little bit of the exciting, fun stuff I've got going on. And you're going to get a sneak peek, for those of you following along closely and avidly at home, for what the next thing is. So let's go ahead and open this guy. See what we got in here. By the way, these packages were very, very heavy. All right, so the first thing is we've got the power cord. That makes sense. We need a power cord. Wait, why are there two of them? Oh, we had a Gibson EH-185. Why do we need two? Well, let's see. Oh, look, we've got heavy boxes of stuff here. Uh, let's first pull some knobs and some more capacitors. Why would we need more capacitors and resistors? I already had the uh, Gibson stuff together. Well, the sneak peek is coming here shortly. Got another box of goods here. But one of the biggest orders that I got, hi Mallory, was, uh, if you can see this, that's four boxes that are very heavy stuff. That would be four transformers. Because, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, I'm now going to also build what was requested by two of our subscribers, a Fender Bassman F, sorry, a 5F6A amp. So I've also got the components and parts to build that as well. So I'm pretty stoked. You're going to be able to finish the Gibson and start off with the, the Baseman next. So you guys get a sneak peek at that. So I will show you, this is a lot of the components for that, and this is what I need to finish the, the Gibson as well. But this is the chassis, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and open that and take a quick peek. By the way, I had somebody mention that they were pretty... Uh, Pretty stoked about me having this knife, which is one I got from a company called Columbia River Knife and Tool. So all of those knife nerds out there like me might be happy to know that that's what that is. So inside of here, it looks like he's set my tube complement as well. Um, so we've got the chassis and all of our tubes and sockets. Sorry if you guys can hear that thumping. That's Mallory. She likes to rub up against and scratch on her our. Uh, What's it called? Refrigerator. So anyway, um, yep, look at that. We've got power tubes, preamp tubes, and our rectifier. Pretty cool. We've got some fuse connections and whatnot there. Doug Hoffman has hooked the man up right here. Thank you very much, Doug. Um, so there's our preamp tubes. One of the cool things about the um, base man is the first preamp tube is a 12AY7. I'm not sure if that's visible. The other two are the typical 12AX7s. I have in here as well, this is the, the tube covers the preamps and our sockets for the uh, um, power stage and rectifier. And we have the chassis. In this side you'll see the preamp connections and the power and rectifier, as well as the power uh, cable connection. On the front side we've got all of the typical, um, so the good thing about the basement is I'm building a standard one. Somebody requested a reverb add-on, but I'm just going to build the standard Gibson, or the standard Gibson, the standard Fender. Uh, base man because the reverb would require me to kind of use a custom chassis and this time I want it to be a little bit more standard and a little bit more straightforward. I definitely don't love building the chassis so this is a pre-built chassis I can plug everything into so we'll follow that in a separate video but uh, the other really cool well let me first quickly show we've got here a uh, the turret board for the base man. So we'll get a quick, quick peek at that. And we'll probably revisit this as well. We'll show this opening for the first part of the Baseman video as well, for those that will, haven't seen the Baseman video. But there's the turret board for the Baseman. As you can see, that's a little bit more complicated than the last one I built. The last one was the very small board that probably was only about this big. It's for the Gibson. It's a very simple circuit. The Baseman's a bit more complex. So there you have it. Uh, and then the last thing that I'm going to open is the big guy. The big guy is more for my future projects. This was something I found due a forum member on EL34 World. Oh look everybody, Mallory is visible on the screen finally. Um, this is a power supply. It's for normally for what's called electrophoresis. I don't know a ton about that other than it's used in medical field to separate things via electrical fields. But the good thing about it is it was pretty cheap. It was I think 45 bucks that I found it for plus shipping which was about the same. And it does voltages in the uh, tube amp range. A lot of power supplies will only support up to about 50 to maybe, maybe usually 50 nowadays that are new. So uh, back when tubes were common, they would a lot of the tube um, 
power supplies could go that high. But nowadays nobody seems to build these. But this guy goes up to up to 4,000 volts. I don't think I'll ever need to use that much. Good thing is though, it will cover the voltages that I do need in two amps, which will be the 500-ish range. So, just trying to get this cracked open, and it does not want to come open. So here you have it, electrophoresis power supply. Um, here's the main outputs, high voltage warning, power on. It looks like, the way I understand it is, you scale it between 500, 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000, and then you have a dial that will adjust. You can choose voltage and wattage, so it's got adjustable wattage, and it shows the amperage and you can adjust it. So this, the, the coolest thing about it, of course, is that I can't adjust it. If I remember, it handles up to 300 milliamps max current. Isn't always perfect for all setups, but it will fit for a lot of what I'm looking at. So I'm pretty excited. We've got a power supply that can handle me doing some testing and development work. So. When I get done building a lot of cool amps, I'm going to also be on the side trying to build a few test amps myself as well. So, there you go, everybody. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the, uh, the big haul I have today. Thanks.